And this is the fourth year of Summer Nights. This is a program we started in 2015. It was designed originally to open up some of the DCR facilities, pools, parks, and playgrounds later in the day and on weekends so the kids and their families would have opportunities to participate more fully in these resources. And over the course of the last several years, we've been able to expand it into other communities. Representative Williams, I want to thank you for being here all the way from Springfield. Thank you very much. And I also want to thank, I also want to thank Rep Representative Holmes because if we don't have the support of the folks in the legislature, this doesn't happen. Uh, they've been terrific partners. And I also just want to reiterate Secretary Beaton and Commissioner Roy's comment about the community partners who are involved in this. A big part of what makes this program work are the partners in the community who step up and work with us to provide the programming and the supervision and the support to the Summer Nights programs here in the Commonwealth. And for us, this is a great way for us to create opportunity for kids and their families to have fun, interesting, and cool things to do over the course of the summer months. And it also gives us a chance to build some partnerships with some community-based organizations that we may or may not have worked with before and to build on those going forward. This is a unique program. I'm a daughter of this community. And our investment in not only state, but city parks are critical to engage youth and families in off-peak hours on off-peak days with innovative programs. When we connect and collaborate across zip codes, across class and race, our young people win. Those who know me know I've been doing youth violence work throughout the state for over 10 years. And I know what's real and what's not. I know what's real and what's not. And over the four years that the Baker Police Administration has been doing this program, it has had an impact. Yes, Trust me, I know. I buried over 100 young people. So I know how real this program is. And I wouldn't be standing here talking about it if I didn't think it was real. I just want to thank the Baker Polito administration again, because this is really important in terms of empowering, helping, and supporting our youth. And I, I always use this phrase. I use TMI. I know the governor's probably saying too much information. No, no. It's touch, move, and inspire that they've been able to do from Boston, Roxbury, Worcester, Springfield, Pittsfield. Trust me, I know. And I just want to thank you again, Governor. Yes,